Good morning. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom, and here's what's happening. If you've been following our website or our Facebook page, you know that Governor Holcomb came to Clay County yesterday visiting Great Dane and taking the opportunity to announce a $20 million jobs package. Clay County isn't the only place where factory jobs go begging. It's a statewide situation. And on Monday morning, Brazil became the first stop on a tour to roll out a $20 million initiative to fund two programs designed to help fill those jobs. Governor Eric Holcomb held a news conference at Great Danes Brazil plant on Monday morning to roll out the programs that form the initiative called Next Level Jobs. Holcomb was accompanied by former State Senator Teresa Lubers, Indiana Department of Workforce Development Commissioner Steve Braun, and Blair Milo, recently appointed Indiana's first Secretary of Career Connections and Talent. We have that story for you on our website today. Also, we have a video of that press conference so you can see what uh, they had to say. And uh, also, we have interviews with local leaders, and uh, you can hear what they have to say about the governor's proposal as well. Been very well received in Clay County by the uh, uh, reactions we've seen on Facebook. And uh, so good for the governor and good for the state of Indiana. Now, we also have uh, this story for you. The Clay County Health Department is offering this tip as children head back to school. Sleep is essential for good health. Insufficient sleep is associated with a number of chronic conditions, such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, hormonal imbalance, obesity, and depression. Sleep is especially important to a child's growth and overall health. And uh, they have more information for you on our website today. The Indiana Superintendent of Public Instruction is going to be addressing the local Republican Club. Dr. Jennifer McCormick will speak to the Clay County Republican Club on, Dece on August 21st at 7 p.m. in the Kennedy Crossing Bingo Center. She will discuss her vision for Indiana's public school education, and the public is welcome to attend. Also new for you today, we can tell you that... Uh, uh, Clay, or not Clay City, but uh, rather Staunton has already set their trick and treat, trick or treat hours. It's going to be uh, October 29th and 30th from uh, 6 to 9 p.m. That's in Staunton. The trick and treat hours were set last night at the uh, Staunton Town Council meeting. Well, that's what's up to date on our website, and uh, we will have more for you throughout the day. I'm Frank in the Brazil Times Newsroom. We'll see you later.